Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e-learning physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about phase changes and in that we'll be covering the topic heating curve. This is the fifth video related to heating curve. In this video we'll be uh, discussing about the heating curve of ice. Here is the question. A slab of ice at minus 40 degrees Celsius is constantly heated till the steam attains a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. Draw a graph showing the change in temperature with time. Label the various parts of the graph properly. Uh, first of all, write the initial temperature and the final temperature. So here is the initial and the final temperature. The initial temperature is minus 40 degrees Celsius and the final temperature is 140 degrees Celsius. We have to write the equations as well as we need to plot the graph starting from this temperature to this temperature. As in this question we are talking about the ice, so we have to take in consideration two most important temperatures. That is at 0 degrees Celsius ice melts. And at 100 degrees Celsius, water boils. So here you can see that I've taken here the initial temperature which was given in the question and here I have taken the final temperature given in the question. In between I have segregated into uh, different parts. Let's study these parts one by one. Now, as given in the question that the ice is constantly heated, uh, so uh, the ice on uh, absorbing heat will change into ice at zero degree Celsius. And we know from the heating curves that whenever there is change in temperature, in this case there is rise in temperature as we are talking about the heating curve. So there will be no change in state. You can see here that still at zero degree Celsius we have ice. The state has not changed. So the heat absorbed in this case will be mc delta t, where m is the mass of the ice, c is specific heat capacity of ice, and delta t is the change in temperature. Uh, that is T2 minus T1. In this case, uh, it will be 0 degree Celsius minus, minus 40 degree Celsius. Next, after attaining the temperature of 0 degree Celsius on further heating, the ice will gain heat and it will melt into water. As you can see here that the ice is also at 0 degree Celsius on a melting uh, also the temperature is 0 degree Celsius. That means there is no change in the temperature. During the melting process when ice is getting converted into water on absorbing heat there is no change in the temperature. This process of changing a solid into liquid on absorbing heat is known as melting. And as the temperature is not rising, only the state is changing, so the heat absorbed is given as M into L. M is the mass of the ice, where LF represents latent heat of fusion. So now we have water at 0 degrees Celsius. On heating further, water at 0 degrees Celsius will gain heat and it will start boiling and it will attain the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. So now you can see here that the temperature has changed from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius but the state has not changed. So when there is no change in the state we will be taking the heat absorbed as Mc delta T. Delta T is T2 minus T1. In this case it will be 100 degree Celsius minus 0 degree Celsius. Now we have water at 100 degree Celsius. On further heating the water at 100 degree Celsius will start converting into steam 
at 100 degrees Celsius. Now you can see here that the water uh, on heating is changing into steam. That means it is changing into a gaseous phase, whereas the temperature is constant. So this process of changing a liquid into a gaseous phase on heating is known as boiling or what we can call as vaporization. And there is no rise in temperature. There is just change in state, as you can see here, from water to steam. So in this case, the heat absorbed will be M into L. L represents here latent heat of vaporization. Now, on further heating, the steam will gain uh, heat and its temperature will rise. So, uh, from 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature of the steam will rise to 140 degrees Celsius, which is the final temperature given in the question. As you can see here that uh, the state is same that is here also we have steam and at 140 degrees Celsius we have steam only the temperature is changing uh, temperature is rising in fact so in this case the heat absorbed will be MC delta T whereas delta T is equals to T2 minus T1 in this case it will be 140 degrees Celsius minus 100 degree Celsius. So these are the phases we uh, need to understand before plotting the graph. After this it will be very very easy for us to plot the graph. Now we have understood the different phases. Let us plot the graph. The part one related to uh, writing the different phases in the heating curve of ice ends here. To understand how the graph is plotted for that you have to watch the part second of this video.